Hi, Dr. Minkoff here, LifeWorks Wellness Center. One of the things that we find around all over the place is people who are fatigued, they're tired, they have trouble making energy, they can't go to work. And underlying this chronic fatigue problem in some people are that they have a virus infection that is affecting their cells, which affect the way they make energy, and that's the reason that they have the symptoms. Now, one of these viruses is called Epstein-Barr virus. Most people, if we check blood in just random people to see, did you ever have an Epstein-Barr virus infection? Probably in the neighborhood of 60 to 80% of people, if you just took them off the street, would show that they have antibody, they have proteins that are directed against this virus, and that at some point in the past, they had the infection. Oftentimes when people get the first time they got the infection, they may have fatigue, they may have even chronic fatigue that lasts several weeks or several months. They often will get a sore throat, tonsillitis, swollen glands, sometimes the spleen enlarges. Sometimes this diagnosis is made by medical doctors. Sometimes the diagnosis isn't made and it's called the flu or it's called a strep throat or something else, but it turns out it was Epstein-Barr virus. In teenagers, this has been known as kissing disease because it can be passed by respiratory spread through droplets and so sometimes in high schools or grade schools, it may go around and a number of people will be infected. What is characteristic about this virus is that once it's in you and you had a prior infection, it actually stays in you in a dormant state, in a sleep state. It's not active, it's not bothering you, but we find at a certain point in someone's life, if the stressors are too much, okay, it may be another kind of infection. It may be too much exercise. It may be trouble with a boss or a mate. But when the stressors go up, either psychological or emotional or physical, that this Epstein-Barr virus, because the immune system is trying to deal with the other stressor, it pulls its attention off the Epstein-Barr virus and the Epstein-Barr virus kicks up. And oftentimes then people will feel that fatigue, sometimes pain, fibromyalgia, these kind of symptoms, sometimes brain fog goes along with it. And they come to the doctor wondering, what is wrong with me? Why don't I feel well? When we see someone like this, we have very specific testing to see, is this actually Epstein-Barr virus that has kind of rekindled itself or reactivated and what would be the treatments that we could use in order to get this virus to go back to sleep, build back up the immune system so that they feel good. Now, sometimes people are eating poorly and they're not getting enough sleep or they have deficiencies of nutrients. They don't have enough vitamin D or selenium or vitamin A. They may have some parasites in their intestine. So we do a bunch of testing on them to find out what else is their immune system working on so that it's allowed the Epstein bar to rekindle. So we look at all this stuff, we treat that. We have herbal remedies and homeopathics and IV remedies that actually can attack the Epstein bar virus and push it down. So that usually in most cases, within a few weeks, we can get people through their fatigue, feeling better. The Epstein bar has gone back to sleep and they feel well again so they can go out and do what they like to do. Okay? I hope this is understandable to you. We deal with this at LifeWorks all the time, and uh, we have an effective way of dealing with it. I hope this helps.